Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. This is your chance to avenge the deaths of your family. That is not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but... We have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot at time. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we Wait, better Wait, what? I picked myself. In a minute, we're gonna have Sith. Did I click that? Pastela overruled. I'm thinking either Joe Lee or HK47. One for Joe Lee, two for HK. What do you guys think? Okay, let's have HK do it. Statement. My construction includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. What if the Sith? What if the Sith disassemble you before your reserve power supply kicks in? Answer: That is possible. My reserve power supply is a prototype yet to be tested. Yet I can attempt this task if you wish. Okay, we'll give it a try. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled hunter killer droid in the back of the ship. Excellent. We can reprogram this droid to fight in our own army, wipe its memory chip, and take it to the salvage shop. The technicians will deal with it later. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist, or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. For the right offer, I could, I could probably be convinced to join the your Sith. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. Uh, why don't you just let me go? Bastil is the one you want. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. <laughs> Don't torture me. I'll tell you everything. My loyalty is as true it as best. It's time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. Interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. 
okay. Here's the thing. Am I gonna blow it with Basila if I'm if I'm trying to be funny here? Because I I think this is a funny answer. But I'm gonna, am I gonna blow it? No, I mean not that I care. It's just a video game. Like I don't care about like my you know for the RP. Go ahead, torture. I don't really like her anyway. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone, and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Uh. Break to my lie. Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. <laughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Well, I never liked them anyway. Frank, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? We've been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No. Uh, no! Uh, uh, pain! Pain! Ah! Listen. Can you not hear her suffering? You're a sick and evil man, Saul Kareth. Perhaps another lesson is oh in Oh, God, order. really? No! Uh, uh, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! Ah! Oh! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I... Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Karath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of being so preachy? This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from Saul, it's how the power of the dark side can corrupt even the bravest of heroes. I'm sorry, forgive me. Snapping at you like that won't help our situation. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Hard to believe they're all gone. Or maybe he was lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case... We've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. I'm not afraid of him. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know. Just to make the horrible pain stop. The only reason I stayed so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Bastila. Watching you suffer tore me apart. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope HK-47 busts us out of here before he arrives. What's he doing to him? Ah! 
Nice. Okay, HK, we got this. Rodriguez <laughs> prisoner. <laughs> Meow is no good opportunity when he sees it. Here, you help me. Here, take Icebreaker. It let you slice in a computer on chip. Mia's tuned the breaker, breaker to work on big computers, so you use it on brick level, it will not work anywhere else. Remember, the breaker only good for one use, so you not waste it. You go fight guard, me go and hide now. Wait for chance to get the ship. Very good. Affirmative. Nice. Attention terminal. Uh, unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage. Aft bridge unsecured. You may be a droid, but when this is all over, I'm gonna see the Republic gives you a medal for your part in this. Nice. If I remember the layout of the ship. Our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching. And I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. I'm not afraid of Malak. You are a fool. The power of the Dark Lord is strong enough to destroy any of us. Even you. It would be suicide to face Malak here. We need to get away before he arrives. Let's get our equipment and just start blasting our way to the bridge control. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. Careful, Karth. There's more, more at stake here than personal revenge. It's true, Karth. You can come, but don't let your hatred of Saul Karath jeopardize our true mission, getting the Ebon Hawk safely off the Leviathan. You better come with me and Karth. The others can find their way on their own, but we might run into trouble. We'll need you and your powerful force abilities to deal with it. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room. Grab what you need and we'll, we'll meet get you going. there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry. We'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Okay. Cell block. That's where we are now. Let's go bridge. Bridge. Then... What was the other one? All right, here we go. Time to rumble. <laughs> I haven't played with Karth since like the first map. speed we're gonna save it what do we do last time look chat speed before I put on the speed suit and now we're zooming hello Okay. Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, Saul. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. 
I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen be enough merciful. of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. Oh, frick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you pop off on him. Toby, you're gonna go. I want you to do a Master Valor so we all get bonus five, all stats. You're gonna force R, you're gonna force speed. Let's watch let's watch it unfold. What Ready. Can I do? Okay, uh I don't think that's how I thought this was gonna go. Are you doing anything? Yes. Huh? Down you go! What can I do? Uh, okay. I'm here. Time to rumble. Uh. Oh. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Full world buffs. Very resourceful. I assume the only thing you taught me. Don't be. He speak. Malik. I've seen okay, enough. Okay, we already, we already saw you this. Always did like. Okay, we're gonna start here. Master rapid shot. I see it. Okay. So next, what you can do, I want you to go force wave, and then I will go and I will kill this guy with a flurry, and then you are going to maybe hopefully stop getting owned for a minute. Never mind. You're Karth and you suck. I'm going to spam heals with her. What can I do? Ready. I'm here. Card is dead. Ah. Okay. So Card is dead. She's gonna heal. What sure. can I do? And then I want you to here stasis this guy. You're gonna flurry this guy. Sure. Ah. Go here. And then wound him. What can I do? Yes. Okay, this is good. Nice. The Admiral, he's still alive. It's time to finish this. No, Karth, don't give in to your hatred. Forget him, Karth, we have to get out of here before Malak arrives. Or, take your time, Karth. Make him suffer for what he's done to you. No, Karth, not like this. Do not give in to the hate. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. Must tell you, must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. You didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. Excess PC just reset. Remember them whenever, whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. He's gone. He said it can't be true, can it? No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. What did he say, Karth? Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. 
What are you two talking about? What's going on? Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth. I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. What? What? No! I want it. I want it now. She's right, Karth. This isn't the time. We can get into this after we escape. Okay, I'll trust you, Vastella, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything to both of you, I promise. Dark side points gained. 3,700 credits, Sith Assassin Pistol Verpine prototype shit. Okay, Pog Champ. Darth Malak. Down you go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? So, this was the cutscene, right? that everybody started freaking out whenever I loaded it on accident, where we saw that, like, because I remember the first frame of him walking through a gate and everybody started freaking out. We didn't watch it. Reunion, what are you talking about? Why'd the Jedi spare me? The meeting was inevitable, Malik. Reunion, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? All this time and you still haven't figured it out. I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Yeah. What the hell, dude? <laughs> So, is my character Darth Revan? What the crap? Dude, hmm, okay. So how did I lose my memory? It was me! It was me the whole time. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord. And know that I have taken your place. What? Is it true, though? I'm Darth Revan? How's that possible? You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. 
They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. How'd they capture someone as powerful as Revan? I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. Oh, when brick. the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. But why'd you betray your master? You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Well, why wouldn't the Jedi just simply kill me? The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Vastla, is this true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I remember being Revan? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. But why program me with another identity? We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. But what if I remembered who I that really was? That was a risk the Council chose to take. I had to try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. There was no other choice. Why you, Bastila? Why'd the Council choose you? I used my Force powers to heal you on that bridge. We share a bond. I convinced the Council I could use our bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the Council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? Wait, so... Hold on, was she leading my character on? Or did she still actually like my character? She was leading my guy on. Dude thinks he's got a shot, and at the end of the day, she just wants the, the, the forge. Realistically, she didn't have a choice. So although my guy's being used, he's getting used because he has to get used, is she, is she lying to him and leading him on in order to get what she wants and not cutting him off and establishing like, yo, because she knows he likes her, but if she doesn't cut him off for the sake of using him and using that knowledge to his advantage in order to get the Star Forge, but also realistically, there's no other alternative. There is no other choice. Yeah, no good answers. <laughs> realistically here's where it lies if she actually likes him is what makes the entire difference because she knows that he likes her she knows that he likes her it's very clear this is a hard one hey Malik by the way man I, I really appreciate you being so patient with us man I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you for being so kind and patient. <laughs> Can we get some OK Champs in chat for Malik? What a good guy. <laughs> I'm thinking... One. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. 
I always knew there was some who would think I acted out of fear. The that simpler I didn't want to insult. You, there's no, there's but no. But now fate thing. has given me a second chance to prove myself. The Darth Simp. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question <laughs> my claim Darth to the Sith so... throne. My triumph will be complete. Uh, triumph, Ma triumph, Malik. You seem to forget that I'm still alive. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus apprentice as it was meant to be. You guys ready to kick some ass? Watch this. I'm going to own this dude. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Speed. Force aura. Oh god. Kite, I'm kiting, 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 I'm kiting. Okay. Uh we're gonna go and we're gonna hit an Ragnarian energy shield. And then hyper battle stimulant. Hyper adrenal strength. Save? No. Stamina? Alacrity. Okay. Boom. There it is. That's Owned. Get freaking dunked on. You see that? You gotta, dude, you just gotta, wait, what the, what the hell was that? I just ran away. Okay. Let's do the Arcanian shield. Okay. Battle simulator. What, dude? I hit so hard. This, this is on the highest difficulty. Back. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! <sighs> I'll hold Malakoff. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. Wait, what? No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Ah. The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What about Bastila? We have to help her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila <laughs> sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! Wait, what? Why are these systems better looking than type? Because they are. Where is 
Bastila. What happened on the ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. We have to go back for Bastila. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said? Or should I? Threats? You can't bully me. Though I shouldn't be surprised now that I know who you really are, Revan. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan. The, and these the guys look like they're from freaking Xenon, a new girl of the 21st Sol century. Or me and whatever the Disney movie was. And Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is. This is big. Do you. Do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? No, I, I don't remember anything about being the Dark Lord, but I also don't remember showing up to a Daft Punk concert either with your guy's freaking headgear. And so the lies begin. It was obvious you remembered something back there when Malak confronted you with the truth. It might have only been small pieces, but there was something there. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. This changes nothing. I still want to stop Malak. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Well, I agree with Mission. I swore life dead to the person you are, not the person that you were. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. It was Sol Kareth who commanded the fleet that attacked your people, Karth. And it was Malak who gave the order. You know this. I have felt the presence of the dark side in you, Revan, as it is in all of us. I know the dangers of that path, yet I also know the fallen can be redeemed. I have seen signs of the taint of the dark side in your actions and deeds. But I will not give up on you, as you did not give up on me. I will stay with you, Revan. What do you have to say, HK? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Your homing system? What's that? Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Oh, brick. So I bought him when he was mine? I, I Dude, that guy scammed me. I, I, he was already my droid. He scammed me out of 2,500 credits. And now he takes two and a half Gs from me. And then he doesn't even open up his shop for anything else. On Tatooine. Actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking <laughs> about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. It's like, whoa, that's so crazy. What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. What do you think, Candorous? You defeated <clears throat> the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. <laughs> Dude, Ganner's gonna put some clothes on. 
Why are you the only one naked here? Everybody else has clothes on. Can is just like shirtless for some reason. <laughs> I, just, I didn't even notice. You won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, will you stand against me with Malik? Or wait, <laughs> will you stand with me against Malik? The others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I don't have any other choice, do I? <laughs> You're right. You don't have a choice. I'm in charge around these parts. Boy, I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that star forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. Guys, we're going to Corvon. Going to court. It's the last planet that we have. Okay, so we're here on Corvon. A word, if I may, it concerns the dark board of the seat. You mean Malak? No, human, the true Dark Lord of the Sea. I am speaking of Darth Revan. Of you? How do you know who I am? Listen to me, and all will be made clear. My name is Ziagram. I am a businessman. Me and my partner, we deal in rare items of extraordinary value and power. You're with the exchange. No, we are not. We are independent operators. Though, uh, often our transactions involve those who represent the exchange. Traditionally, uh, we have uh, always done business with the owner of the Ebenhawk, uh, David Kang, most recently. But uh, Ahita Otar before him and Fori Haksa before her. But we were reluctant to report you. You had no ties to the exchange, which was a problem. Even worse, you were a Jedi, so it is uh, not the type of person that we normally associate with. All right, we'll get to the point. How do you know my true identity? There were reports of the Ebon Hawk traveling to many different planets. We wanted to know what you were up to. At your last port, I placed a, a small tracking device on your ship. Go on. Your escapade on the Leviathan created quite a stir in the Sith fleet. Of course, Malek tried to suppress the truth about your identity. We know what happened on the Leviathan. At least, we know enough. You are Darth Revan, and you are going to kill Malek for daring to claim dominion over the Sith. Well, how does this involve you? My partner and I deal in very rare and powerful items. Weapons, armor, things you could use in your battles against Malek and the Sith. And you're just going to give these items to me. Uh, I don't carry these items with me, of course. They are with my partner. But they are yours. If you have the credit to buy them. We do not want to make a profit on this after all. Just go in the cantina in Dreshte. There is a Rodian there. His name is Mika Dorin. Tell Mika that Ziagram sent you to look at the premium items. 
Well, I'll go check it out. Mika already knows to expect it. Like I said, just tell him that you want to look at the premium items. He will show you the Persian rugs. And then he will show you the weapons. I guess my work here is done. Goodbye, Revan. And once Malik is beaten, do not forget to help. Do not forget to help you to victory. Okay. Wait, who's talking? I see another Jedi comes to a small Corban yet. Good to meet you. How do you know I'm a Jedi? Well, uh, from the lightsaber that you are carrying, naturally. Uh, only Jedi carry wands like that, am I correct? There are many people who come to Koriban from throughout the seat space, hoping to join the academy. Some of them are Jedi who have left the order. You will get into the academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are made very welcome. But I haven't left the light side. Oh, I, uh, I see. Then uh, this is a very dangerous place for you to have come. Koriban is a, a seat planet. You know that, correct? But enough about that. It is very nice to see that Evan Hawk has returned. Uh, I have not seen that ship for some time indeed. Since you're a regular to our little colony, uh, the docking fee is only 25 credit. I don't need to collect the fee. Er, frick. You don't need to collect the fee. Uh, I suppose you are correct. It, it won't hurt anything if I just let you pass through. The guy talking has a more menacing tone. Can you do the accent with this tone? Can I ask you some questions? Mm. What, in what information? I could do the, I could do the Sultan Habibi voice. <clears throat> what was the Sultan of voice? The, the New World voice that we did. What? <clears throat> what information do you wish? Tell me about Korban. Well, this is Dresh Day. It is the only colony on the planet. Korriban is a seat planet. Well within their space. Though it is not very well inhabited. The seat allows Zerka to conduct some mining here. And the company operates the starport, but otherwise the colony revolves around the local seat academy. Well, I'll be on my way then. Enjoy your stay in the rest day. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's Play what I'm I playing on hard mode. I'm difficult. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Huh. You can try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. Commentary. That's the way to tell the meatbags, master. Charging weapons just in case. This should be fun. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. I want to fight them, but I also want to tell the joke. I'm leaning towards, man, this is hard. I kind of want to tell the, I kind of want to tell the joke, but I also want to tell them I'm Darth Revan. I'm going to tell the joke. Go on. <laughs> so two Mandalorians walk into the woods. One of them collapses, and he doesn't seem to be breathing, and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds, Calm down. I can help. And then? First, let's make sure your partner is dead. There's a silence. And then a blaster shot is heard. Back on the communicator, the Mandalorian says... Okay, now what? It would be more realistic if the commander just shot them both. Ha! <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Good one! Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. All right then, my friend. 
You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet terrible. again. That's terrible. Unbelievable. Is there something specific you wanted? Are you Meckle? And what if I am? You have to do something about those men. They're dying. That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banther, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. So this isn't a real test for them? Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. Bring it on. Kipuna! Looks like we got us a winner. Very good. You know it. Let's enjoy this. I know I will. Don't mind us, we just killed four students. Sith medallion, battle stimulant, construction kit. Oh, a Sith medallion. Hey, you've got one of the medallions. You've been accepted. How did you ever manage that? <laughs> <laughs> Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. We eat a na, dana titai. Please, please, friend. We are pleased at your success, but... Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? But well, let's just see. No! <laughs> see? I have the power to do anything! Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donkod sercha. Somebody please help me. Fool. Like you would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather kill you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi. Just keep walking. Unless you want some of the same. Sorry, but I'm not gonna let you kill that woman. Yes, let's see how tough you are then. Or do what you want other than doing me. Yeah, let's see how tough you are then. I am a Sith now. My power is supreme. Prepare to die. <laughs> what? Ready. Sith Medallion, Crystal Bondar. Ah, there she is. Euthora Ban. Can you not see that I am busy, human? Ah, oh, I see you have a medallion. Where did you get it? Why do you want to know? Do not be insolent, human. I asked you a direct question, and I will not be trifled with. Now, where did you get this medallion? Persuade lie. It was given to me. Oh, by one of the others, no doubt. You do seem a fit candidate for the Academy. Though me there liars? is something odd about you. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? What difference does it make? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Again? I suppose that would interest me, yes. Hmm. A strange response indeed. 
Is your mind maladjusted in some way? You should make for an interesting pupil indeed. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? They are slaves. Don't worry about them. My hearing's not so good. I'm just pleased my nice master doesn't beat me so much anymore. Yes, sir. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Yes, I am. Then let us leave. Chat, stop. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Chat, stop. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. I know that the Sith are powerful, of course you're in. The Sith are evil and have surrendered themselves to the temptation cushion of their power. The Sith do what they want and pay no heed to duty or discipline. I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith Master. No? Then perhaps you shall keep your foolishness to yourself and actually learn something. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash Wait, Uthar? and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? And what are my companions? Your slaves. They are irrelevant. They may accompany you so long as they do not interfere with us or with your training. Are you ready or not, young one? <clears throat> I'm ready to learn more. She says that power without consideration of morality is a weakness. Power without the consideration. I'm ready to learn more. And so shall it be. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Yeah. You want me to kill Master Uthar? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. People against Master sounds familiar. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. Did I ask what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together. Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint That's me. That's not true, Mirko. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that if you like. 
Shall I go on? Ask her about the meaning behind each verse of the Sith Code. Okay. Can you tell me about the Code of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Mm. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Peace is a lie, there is only passion. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Your passion against rain. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. What about love? Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy. Tell me about yourself. About myself? I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. A I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hut. I'm sure you don't need to know more. Well, I'll be going on now. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Hey, Master Uthar, how about Greetings, you, Uthar, young one. my balls? You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. I have something to tell you about Yathura. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I know the location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapon cache. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? It is hidden within a trap door on the ship. Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts, then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Hmm, I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Strength. No, no, that is incorrect. I would have... I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Serenity. No. What the hell? Then peace... No. Then P. Peace of the line isn't the first line. So if it's P S P V, victory is V. No. no. <laughs> okay. Then peace is a lie. That is only. Harmony. No. <laughs> then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only passion. through passion I gain. There's only passion. Through passion I gain strength. Through strength, strength I gain. I gain power. Through power I gain victory. Through victory I. My chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. True. False. <laughs> Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. It is temp- Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. False. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. Uh, I can handle myself. If you say so. Just thought I would warn you is all. What's been your favorite part of this game so far? Well, the story in general has been really good. The plot twist was awesome. But I like I like the RPG elements of the game, right? Like I, I like building my character and stuff like that. So. Oh wait, I was gonna go back to the other spot. Oh frick, War Droid Mark Three. What the frick? Nice. 
Wait, we're just owning these guys. Yeah, so where we're at on the planet is, uh, we're on the, uh, where we're at in the game, there's a planet that's basically like a Sith training planet, and we've come to this part of the game. So. Be fun to watch that thing and get through the learning curve tomorrow. Um, is it Morrowind even longer than this game? I've never played in Elder Scrolls. Tomb door. Oh, what the frick? Sith sarcophagus. Notch steel sword, silver line sword, and vibro sword. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again, oh, a human. Analysis. This emanation barely registers on my sensors, Master. Blaster fire may be ineffective, but I am prepared to test that at your word. Do I know you? It seems as if we have met before. I was here once before, I think. Do you remember me? I do, and yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human, yet the face... The soul. Oh, it has been so very long. Are you in Judah Paul? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Oh, Ajunta. Yes, yeah. that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. You were a Sith Lord from the ancient times? Ancient? Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So wrong. Hmm, what do you mean by those we betrayed? What, can I what do you mean by those we had betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came to hide, to grow. And here we fell. You were a Sith. No, I heard that one. What can, you, what can you tell me about this place? Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It... We were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. All right, Mirko, we'll see you later, dude. What do you mean? Came from where? Our oldest secret. Only, only we would know, we lords, only we would know where our power can I force persuade a Sith Lord? Tell me the secret. The Force no longer Frick. touches my mind, human. And even if it did, I, I no longer remember our secret. The Force bristles in you. You must find this place with it. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Uh, so many images. I see your dark heart, human. Dark as mine was, proud as mine was. You, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? you will find the old place, and you will regret it. I shall regret nothing. So much power, it is blinding. I, I remember so little. How did you fall? What happened? We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? 
We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? Uh, the Sith fled, yes, and they returned. No, no, no. The dark side will always thrive. You should know that. So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. Wait, is Doc Spin gone? Why, why is Doc Spin gone? This secret, is it the star map? Oh, what about your sword? Do you still have it? My sword? I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. I need this sword you speak of. Of course you do. You... Seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my soul to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. What do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are... Three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And if the sword ain't yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. How will I know which sword it is? I do remember one thing. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Okay, he said it was a black sword. So the notched steel sword. The sword sets itself in the stone as if it belongs there. Yes, that is the nice. one. Nice. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Take, take it and the other blades. I want to know more about the star map. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I don't believe that. Tell me what you know. I shall not tell you. I hold a secret. I shall not be gone. I command you. No, no, no. What a disappointment. The great adjunct of Paul. Then feel my power. You shall die here with me. Up. Yeah, I did, Jake. Wait, what? <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but 
Yeah, wait a second. How did HK-47 pass out? He's a robot. He's a droid. Who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor oh, lad. Oh, make a, like a He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earn. Oh. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. No. I ain't never heard of you. No? Blast it. What have they been teaching you Who? children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see... I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing. What is, what is gumption? But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. What if I refuse to take your test? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. And if I pass your... And if I pass your test? Why, then you go free. Tell you what. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. I bet I, I'll take this guy's test and I'll kick its test ass. Go ahead, do your worst. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then... This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Why do you keep saying it like that? Miko. to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. I thought it was Meckle. What if Miko dies? Then you win. If you die, then he wins. Nice. I thought this was self-evident. I think we all win. If Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well, then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? <sighs> we could both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Try and copy his voice. Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective, an effective commander, commander and a fine, and a fine leader. leader. He trusts, he trusts you, you and you, and like, you him. like him. You see, you see an opportunity, an opportunity to, kill to kill him. him. What, what do, you do, do you do? I don't know. I think it's okay. Um, I have an opportunity to kill him. Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. I kill him in secret and put the blame on someone else. I do nothing. He's a fine leader. You said he's good for the Sith. I take the opportunity to kill him in his position. Your immediate superior. They've been saying the entire time, throughout the entirety of this world, they've been talking about how it is a Sith's duty to kill their masters. I'd take the opportunity to kill him and take his position. Correct. He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. 
You see me, Cole. It's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. <sighs> and so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. A group of humans are threatened by danger. Now. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? I help them take the reward and then kill them. Uh, I take the reward, leave the weak fools to their fate. Yes. Correct. The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say. We're not Jedi shepherds after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your loss. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I refuse to answer this. You gained an advantage oh, and you... I misclicked. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. I misclicked. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Still going. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. Normally very common skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? I'm going to give him another chance. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? No, that wasn't the to intention. To make it look like you are weak and deserving no, that's not the of intention. attack? No, 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 no. Think again. That's not huh. the... That not wasn't the point. help is easy to find. Oh, well. Here's your reward. <laughs> Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Neither. A true Sith never dies. What? How did you know that? That was my trick question. Oh, telepathy. No, wait. Someone told you, didn't they? <laughs> Regardless... I suppose rules are rules. Time for your medicine, Mikol, my boy. Well, is young Mikol dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? Well, that indeed would be a first. I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong with a what? Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps we'll meet again soon. Well, he has a tablet? Uh, no. They had iPads back then? Uh, I have something to tell you about Ethereal. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? She wants me to help her kill you at the final trial. I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato. Wait, did I get softlocked? I would advise you to be rested. I hear that you have gained even more prestige. You are closing in on victory. This is good. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. I have some news about Uthar. What? What's happened? Our plan is still intact, I hope. He plans to have me fight you in the final test. Ah, how very clever of him. Normally you would face some other student in the tomb, preferably one of the failed ones. Obviously Uthar has decided to get rid of me. But why? Did you say something to him? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I do that? Then no. how could he suspect? Unless one of the others... Never mind. It is not important now. In the end, it works out better that it is only the two of us in the tomb with him. So long as we refuse to fight. Is there anything else I should know? He wants you poisoned. I'm supposed to give this pad to Andrenas. Let me see that. So it's true. Thank you for bringing this to me. Now I will be far stronger than Uthar expects. Here, this pass card will allow you access to Uthar's quarters. It's at the far end of the passages with the other quarters. Take this device as well and put it inside his cot. No one should see you do it. Then Uthar will be too weak to stand up against us. Don't even think of failing me. You and I are too far into this now to back out. Okay, that's just getting creepy. I'm pretty close to the end of the game, right? Do not forget our agreement regarding Uthura's treachery. You are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. <laughs> uh... I'll tell him I'm ready. Then we go now. A day passes in preparation. Uthar then takes you and Uthura to the place. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. Is that a tone of mischief in your voice, dear Euthura? You should know by now that no scheme is certain. As should you, my master. But I was only agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasato, okay. young What's up, Darkstar? The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? I don't understand. Why not just give me the saber? If you do not strive to achieve something, then it will be meaningless to you, wouldn't you say? Can you tell me something about what I'll face? No, that is part of the test. Overcome the obstacles that lie ahead on your own. I don't understand why I just give the Okay, can I leave the tomb? You cannot. No one enters and no one leaves until your test is complete. Find the star map, return with the lightsaber. I understand. Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Okay, this should be easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on Force R to shield myself, and then I will... Boom. Okay. This is easy. Wait, maybe I'm not supposed to go forward. There are three pillars that have electron <coughs> electronic readouts showing the energy levels of four systems. The controls show that these systems can be transformed to other pillars. Caution. Some of the systems are very del delicate and improper transfer of power can cause an electrical overload. In order to unseal the chamber, all of the four following systems must be transferred to the right pillar. Top system may be, tra be transferred to any pillar safely without fear of overload. So top system is open. Well, let's see this. Top system any pillar. On the right, you put the left in the middle. You put the left on the right. And then you put the middle on a right. And that's how you get a full stack. All power has been successfully transferred to the right hand pillar. This room has been unsealed. Nice. Very good. Shindo. Acid pool. Get over here. Ignore it and back away. Okay. Let's throw the cold grenade. I'm gonna throw the cold grenade in the acid pool 
I think if I throw the fire grenade in the acid pool, then it's going to cause an explosion, like it'll react with acid. I think if I throw the cold grenade, then it's going to turn the acid into ice, and I can walk across. Ooh, there you go. Now, just for the memes. It's okay, bot. For the memes, for the memes. What's going to happen when we throw fire? Grenade explodes in a wave of heat and noxious fumes. Too late and realize you feel Yeah, exactly. Cool. Good guess. If I Kotor to this, eventually, not right away. Maybe, maybe give it like an extra week or something, because it'll be after all my YouTube videos are done for this game. And I'll announce on Twitter and Discord whenever I start Kotor 2. Okay. Storm app. We hot. Sith lightsaber. Okay. Another lightsaber. There it is, dude. The star map. So what is this? What's going on here? Bing, 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 bing. Bing bong. Uther win. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand. As I knew you would. The force Shameless is little w farmer. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and oh, your that's power. Amnesia, my no bad. peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten the lightsaber? I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. I won't believe you. I don't feel screwed anyone. Hmm. Hmm. Have you practiced at all for a while tomorrow? No, we haven't. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten the lightsaber? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act rather than its sheer difficulty. The Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. No. I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side, that cry out for release. I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. You have followed it this far. You must decide if you are capable of continuing. And if I'm not? This is where your path ends, young one. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. The Sith are not the only ones who fight and take risks. True, but most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. I think I understand. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to behooves. strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. You talk too much, old fool. So, you know, do you? Well, it makes no difference. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Euthora, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious oh, than you realize. Isn't that so, young one? Oh, Brick! I can kill him, I can kill her, or I can kill them both. 
here's the thing. Is he role-playing Darth Simp? What happens if he goes with Urethra? But not until I kill them both first. You are indeed a fool if you think to oppose I choose me. One. To think I actually believe for a moment that you and I were friends. So be it. Do not fret, my dear. All will be as it was quickly enough. You will pay for this, fool. We will destroy you. <laughs> oh, frick. This is hard mode, chat. Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh, uh, guys, this is not good. Uh I choose me. You are to Okay, that's more like the first time I did this. Okay, very good. Anyway, guys, here it is. We're finally here at the final planet of the game, as far as I know. The Starforge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Chat, give me some pod champs. We're about to go. Black just resubbed. Thanks, Black. Maybe that's what's here. Never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear, oh, why do you say wet with an H? It will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wearing his face mask correctly? Yeah, there should be social distancing. Why isn't he covering his nose? I wish that were me. Very good, Jim Adler. Thanks, Nate. I hate the fact that the chat Star made that. Forge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet.
Thanks, Kyle Mario. Yeah, it's pretty, it is better. It's pretty nice, actually. Brick! Oh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing.